be mindful as a married person. If I truly am looking for advice or just need a soundboard, I'm going to go talk to my married friend compared to speaking to my single friend because they're going to have different lenses and different viewpoints. Someone that's single may say, girl, you need to leave that man. Where someone is married going to say, have you asked this question? Have you tried to talk to them? I have had that experience where people can only give you the advice that they know. So if you're, whatever you're dealing with, just like if it's a job situation, if someone's never been to the status that you've been to, why would you, if they work at a call center and you know that you're about to be a director, why are you asking them about applying for a job as a director? You got to be mindful of who you're speaking to. Who is your audience? Who are you asking this question to? So that, reply, that applies to relationships. That applies to your career. <laughs>
but you don't want to tell your family, especially your family that you know is going to have to see your partner. Exactly. So exactly. Let, maybe somebody that you got that's across the country that don't got to see your partner. <laughs> or or somebody that you know that um that's open, that understand people are people. Yeah. Or someone that's already married. Because if they married and they, so they understand. committed to their partner, then they'll understand a little bit better. But you still don't want to share. I would keep it to a minimum. All right, all right. So what about including people in your relationship in a deeper sense, as far as, you know, telling them, you know, deep things about your relationship, asking advice and you move on it, or, you know, just things that, you know, you know about your partner and they may not know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it just goes back to the topic of the video, making sure that you stop telling them folks your business. And it really is all about the relationship that you have with your partner is not the same relationship that that person, your family member, your best friend is going to have with that person. So you have to be mindful of that and know that what you're sharing, they're not going to see it in the same light because you have that deep connection with that person. So you can't expect them to love or feel the same way that you do. Right. And so it's best just to keep people out of your relationship and just stop telling folks your business. Okay, so what if, um, what about the people that feel that if you, if you're intentionally keeping someone out of your relationship, then you may be, you may be, um, subject to being controlled. Well, that is a possibility and you have to, one, know yourself. Right. You know, never have yourself in a situation where you're not safe. Um, but people's opinions about whether or not you be in control is not their relationship. So you have to know yourself, be confident in what you're doing and make. Yes, I want all of us to make sure that we are safe. So you do need to be safe. Don't be in a situation where you're not safe. OK, alert for help if you're not, because sometimes people are in strange situations. And not just safety. Also, having the flexibility to make your decisions having the flexibility to be yourself, make your own moves, treat someone how, you know, you feel that you want to treat them. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you don't take a person's, uh, not you per se, but anyone, yeah. don't take a person's um, opinion, then they think, okay, you, she, she, she's controlled. Right. I mean, people are going to have their opinions because of their own experiences. So people are, can only meet you at their level of experience. So if that's what they experienced before, their parents, their, someone else in their life had that experience, they will project onto you. And you got to know that because that's what people do. They, they're going to project onto you. So that's why it's so important to know yourself and make sure that you keep things Keep things in place as you know that they should be. And it's okay to tell. You don't even have to explain yourself to your friends or your family to say, oh, well, I don't want to tell you. I don't I don't want to tell you this. Now, if you have that close relationship where you feel like you need to explain yourself to them, then yes. But it's so important for you to be, be yourself and don't tell people your business. And be confident in yourself. Yep. And so now... There are situations to where you do want advice from a successful couple, where you do want advice from someone you that you lean on for mm -hmm. advice all the time. Yeah. So can you speak on it? Yeah. So it definitely varies. So I would be mindful as a married person. If I truly am looking for advice or just need a soundboard, I'm going to go talk to my married friend compared to speaking to my single friend because they're going to have different lenses and different viewpoints. Someone that's single may say, girl, you need to leave that man. Where someone is married going to say, have you asked this question? Have you tried to talk to them? I have had that experience where people can only give you the advice that they know. So if you're, whatever you're dealing with, just like if it's a job situation, if someone's never been to the status that you've been to, why would you, if they work at a call center and you know that you're about to be a director, why are you asking them about applying for a job as a director? You got to be mindful of who you're speaking to. Who is your audience? Who 
are you asking this question to? So that, reply, that applies to relationships. That applies to your career. You're not going to ask a 18-year-old child about a 37-year-old business. Right. You're just not. So you got to be mindful of who you're talking to and what you all are talking about. So yes, it's cool to get advice. I get it. But from whom whom are you receiving the advice from? Right, right. That's, that's, that's pretty good. If okay. this is something that you can relate to, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Tell me the things that you might have been telling too much. Drop it in the comments below. And as always, abundant love and light to you. It is always just do it. And until next time.